Arkansas State Police Bomb Squad unveiling their new dog-like robot today. They say the robot, made by Boston Dynamics, will be able to lead them into dangerous situations without risking any lives. The robot is named Buford, after former ATF agent and the man who helped create the State Police Bomb Squad, Commander Bill Buford. Mike Rogers at State Police Headquarters for a first look at Buford in action. Mike, how's this going to help out the department? Looks like a pretty neat tool. Yeah, the Boston Dynamics robot will be able to help lead the bomb squad or SWAT teams into dangerous situations using artificial intelligence. It has obstacle avoidance and can help open doors and pick up objects. Corporal Josh Berry, a state police bomb technician, said it's the first of its kind in Arkansas and will be another tool to keep officers and the public safe. opening doors to a new age in law enforcement. We're going to be able and more easily use it. You can kind of hand it off to another guy and still expect them to get the same response out of it. Corporal Josh Berry says members of the state's police bomb squad team will soon undergo training with the Boston Dynamics robot. If we're going to a bomb call, we can maybe see what's going on in there before we have to send a guy down in a 100-pound bomb suit. Using artificial intelligence and its four legs to move around while controlled by a technician, Berry says the robot can use thermal vision and take video inside of an active scene. It's in a SWAT situation, we might be able to let them see the individual that's in that house without having to send people in. The robot, dynamic in size and movement, can approach an explosive, pick it up, and dispose of it if necessary, all while being controlled by an agent from afar. It's easier than some of our other platforms. We can load this up and put it in a vehicle real quick versus having to take one of our large response vehicles. Barry says the department purchased the robot with a $282,000 federal grant. Any software updates will come from Boston Dynamics headquarters. Battery life runs for around 90 minutes, and the reception has been nothing short of positive. We went to Conway last week, and there's probably 50 kids running around chasing it. And uh, so it's kind of neat to see the kids' uh, eyes light up and then you know, give them an opportunity to come speak to law enforcement. So cool to see that thing in action. Now there is a rollover feature in the robot for agents to change the battery, which can be hot swapped, meaning it doesn't have to be fully turned off. And over the next two days, the 10 members of the state police bomb squad will be broken up into groups of five to go through two separate eight hour training sessions with the robot to ensure they're comfortable with it before it's deployed out in the field, Bob.